it's not always true that you have to construct a standard family size by digester for a standard family three or four bedroom house. You can equally do a large family size by digester even for a standard family house. I'm going to show you the reason why in this video. Let's go. So this building is a four bedroom house and under normal circumstances, all you need is the standard family size or let's say a medium family size bio digester, right? But it's also got five seats, which means that there's one exclusively for the use of the guests and then there are four in each of the rooms. So sometimes when you do inspection, what you plan to do is to do the medium size family bio digester for such a property. But in this situation, the discussion was done with the homeowner and then the understanding was read that instead of probably doing even the medium size or doing standard size digesters, two of them, a flat family size by digester can be done that will serve all the seats. The key part is to get the location right and know where you are going to put the digester. And then the key difference is also that this digester, you need a soak away for it. Explain in previous videos why you have to do a soak away. Probably is your best option for a biodigester going forward in the modern times and how biodigesters are done now. I will leave the link up in the cards above. But basically, when you come to a place like this and you are considering a large family size biodigester for a five seat toilet and knowing the kind of land that they have here is good, it's not good, it's here and there. There's no drainage system available because it's a developing area. Then your best bet is to get a soak away done. That will guarantee the longer lasting use of the biodigester that the homeowner is choosing. let the sun hit my face as I, I do this recording this morning. Dreamhouse Biodigesters is a channel dedicated to those who are interested in learning how to construct a biodigester and to homeowners who are interested in using biodigester as a means of their human waste management option. This house has got five toilets. There's one for the guest and there's four in each of the rooms. Now, under normal circumstance, we could have de decided to do a standard family or a medium-sized family by digester for the property. But we are planning for something bigger, and we think the homeowner also agrees with us. He's looking at a longer use of the digester, and if he considers doing a, um, a septic tank, the amount of money is going to cost him, and then to think about the future cost like having it dislodged and then the amount of space that is going to take on his land as well and the location especially where it must be located and all those stuffs he is considering the large family size by digester with a bit of a cost and a stock away attached to it obviously it's been done in such a way that if in the future in the near future they do have a, a drainage system here there will be an overflow pipe attached to the stock away that will guarantee that excess water that's treated will always go out and then the digester will stay there for a very very good and longer use remember the key reason why you do the digesters and they must work well and they do work well is because there's no excess water that has been retained in the digester you always have to make sure the water gets a place to go and if you are not getting that out because you've done a so-called pit where possibly the pipe the leche pipe has been blocked by some dirt or by some stones or by some chippings because those are the things that you use in the so-called pit over time. And then it means that you're going to have problem when the, you are called by the homeowner to come and do the servicing on the digester. And immediately you show up there, some of the things that you have to tell the homeowner is that probably you have to do another soak away. 
But if you see yourself and realize that they've done some pavement or some tiling in the house, and there's no opportunity, there's no place for such a thing to be done, then the best option to tell the homeowner, immediately you show up on site to do a digester or to let the person understand that, let's do a soak away. We are not going to fill it with stones. We will do a top slab for it, we will cover it, and we will do a, a clean out for it, the white one clean out, so that in case we need to get access to it anytime, anybody can get access to it. And let's say the land becomes soggy and it doesn't soak, you can equally have the water pumped out of the bio, I mean, of the soak away of the bio digester. And then the water, excess water that we retains in the digester will also come back into the soak away and all those water can be pumped out. And the user can go back using the digester as they see it. That's the key main reason why I always advise our homeowners to seriously consider the option of a soak away, not necessarily for the kitchen and the bathhouse, but especially for the toilet and the human waste. Because mostly, most of the time, there will be a drainage or you do a bigger soak away in front just to manage that kitchen and the bathroom waste water. And they are excess, so obviously they cannot be attached to the soak away. But I mean, there are exceptions whereby you get a good land and then the, 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 the digestive soak away can equally be used for the kitchen and the bathroom soak away. But that's not what we are doing right now. We are telling you about the need why a standard family size house, a three or four bedroom house, can choose a large family size by digester plus a soak away to help complement their human waste management solutions. So in this particular case, in this particular building, the toilet seats are located, there are two located in front, one for the guest, and then there's another room here that's using that particular toilet seat, right? So that's why the pipes are there. So it means that you have to, let's say in this particular house, you have to consider two standard family size by digesters, which means that one has to be done closer here just to serve these two, and then the other can go at the back just to serve this particular ones there. But then with the, with the understanding that we got and then the, the solution that we provided, what we did was to let the plumber, I mean, we are going to let the plumber bring this particular tool here all the way to come and join the large digester at the back. The reason is that if you do a small one, the pipes might come and then they will fall at the base of the digester, which is not going to work. Then it's going to create another problem. So if you do a bigger digester, it means you have more room to leverage and you have more room for to manage in terms of the digester bed and the laying of the digester bed. So this digester is served the whole house especially and then the ones at the back can also be brought all the way to come and join this one. And then the addition of a soak away, I'm telling you, this homeowner is in safe hands and he's going to use this digester and this technology for a long time. And he will attest to it and show people why obviously the digesters are always people's best bet. Dreamhouse by digesters, channel dedicated to by digester construction and then the effective use of the technology and how they are helping people, especially those who are building their houses, have an option in terms of the sort of system that they should use to manage their human waste. If you are new to the channel, subscribe and join us and let's build this community of by digester lovers. You can also share the videos to those who need to see it and of course you can like it. Leave a comment also below. Until next time, join us again.